Have you ever wondered what happens to your body when you jump out of an airplane, plummeting towards the Earth at terminal velocity? Welcome to a journey like no other, where we dive into the exhilarating world of skydiving and the physiological marvels that accompany this heart-stopping adventure. Skydiving, an extreme sport that's not for the faint of heart, is a symphony of senses, a ballet of the body responding to the unique challenges it faces as it breaks free of the Earth's gravitational pull. Let's start with the moment you take that leap into the void. Your heart rate spikes and adrenaline floods your system. This is your body's natural response to stress, a throwback to our ancient ancestors' fight or flight response. The adrenaline rush is a jolt of energy, a supercharge that heightens your senses and prepares your body for the extreme experience to come. Now imagine the sensation of falling, the wind whipping past at incredible speeds. This isn't just a thrill ride, it's a physiological marvel. Your heart rate accelerates, your breathing becomes rapid and shallow, and your body works overtime to keep you conscious and functioning amidst the adrenaline and the sheer speed of your descent. But that's not all. As you hurtle through the air, your body also has to contend with a sudden change in altitude. The drop in atmospheric pressure can affect your body in various ways, from causing mild discomfort in your ears to more significant changes in your blood oxygen levels. This is the beauty of skydiving. It's not just an adventure, it's a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the human body. It's a dance between you and the forces of nature, a dance that pushes you to your physical limits and then some. So, buckle up as we unravel the mystery of what happens to your body during a skydive jump. From the adrenaline-fueled freefall to the breathless plunge and the triumphant return to normalcy upon landing, it's a journey that's as educational as it is exhilarating. Stay tuned and get ready to explore the world of skydiving like you've never seen it before. The moment you jump out of the plane, your body goes into an adrenaline-fueled overdrive. Suddenly, you're not just observing the world, you're actively participating in it. As the ground rushes towards you, your body begins to react. An adrenaline rush isn't just a saying, it's a physiological reality. The adrenaline surge skydivers experience is part of the body's innate fight-or-flight response. This primeval reaction to perceived danger prepares your body for the extraordinary feat it's about to accomplish. The adrenaline, or epinephrine as it's scientifically known, triggers a number of changes in your body. It's like flicking a switch and suddenly, you're superhuman. Your heart rate increases, pumping blood around your body at a faster rate. This ensures that your muscles receive a steady supply of oxygen and nutrients, necessary for the physical exertion of controlling your descent and landing. You may feel your heart pounding in your chest, a physical reminder of the thrilling adventure you've embarked on. Adrenaline also dilates your pupils, allowing more light to enter your eyes and heightening your vision. The world appears in sharper focus, every detail standing out vividly against the backdrop of the sky and the rapidly approaching Earth. It's as if you're seeing everything for the first time. Even your senses are heightened. The rush of the wind against your skin, the roar in your ears, the taste of the cold air as you hurtle through the atmosphere, everything is amplified. It's a sensory overload that leaves you feeling more alive than ever before. But it's not just about the physical changes. The adrenaline rush also brings with it a feeling of exhilaration, of pure, unadulterated joy. There's a thrill that comes with free-falling, a sense of freedom that is unparalleled. It's a moment of pure, undiluted bliss, a feeling of being invincible that stays with you long after you've touched the ground. This adrenaline rush is what makes skydiving an unforgettable experience. It's not just about the leap, the free fall, or even the landing. It's about the journey your body and mind go through, the rush of living life on the edge, and the exhilaration that comes with conquering your fears. As you hurtle down towards the earth, your body experiences a dramatic change in pressure. Imagine being in an elevator that's rapidly descending from the hundredth floor. You might feel a bit of discomfort in your ears, right? Now, multiply that sensation by about a hundred. That's what skydivers experience as they plummet from the sky. You see, the air's pressure at 10,000 feet is significantly less than at sea level. So as you free fall at a staggering speed, your body is essentially moving from an area of low pressure to high pressure. This sudden shift can have some noticeable impacts, particularly on your ears and sinuses. You might be thinking, that sounds uncomfortable. Why would anyone want to do that? Well, rest assured, skydivers are well prepared to handle these pressure changes. It's all part of the training. 
they learn techniques to equalize the pressure in their ears and sinuses to avoid discomfort or injury. One such technique is the Valsalva maneuver. It involves pinching your nose shut and gently blowing out, creating a pop or click in the ears. This action helps to balance the pressure between the outside environment and the inner ear. However, it's important to note that it should be done gently. Too much force could potentially cause damage. Another technique is to swallow or yawn. Yes, it sounds simple, but these actions can help to open up the eustachian tubes, tiny passages connecting your middle ear to the back of your nose and upper throat. When these tubes open, it allows the pressure to equalize on both sides of your eardrums. Now, you might be wondering, what about the sinuses? Well, the techniques mentioned above can also help to relieve sinus pressure. Additionally, skydivers are advised not to dive if they have a cold or sinus infection, as it could lead to a painful condition called barotrauma. So the next time your ears pop while skydiving, you know it's your body adjusting to the pressure changes. This is a testament to our body's phenomenal ability to adapt and respond to different environments, even when we're free-falling from the sky. Have you ever tried holding your breath while skydiving? If not, then don't. You might be wondering why. Well, let's delve into the science of it all. When you're free-falling from thousands of feet above the ground, breathing normally is not just a suggestion, it's a necessity. While it may be tempting to hold your breath during the exhilarating plunge, doing so can lead to a condition called hypoxia. This is when your body, or a specific region of it, doesn't receive enough oxygen. And in the context of skydiving, that's the last thing you want. So why does this happen? As you ascend to skydiving altitudes, the air pressure decreases. This means there's less oxygen available for you to breathe in. Now your body is pretty clever. It compensates for this by increasing your breathing and heart rates. This helps maintain a steady supply of oxygen to your vital organs. But here's the catch. If you hold your breath, you're preventing your body from taking in this much needed oxygen. It's like being at a party with a buffet of your favorite foods and choosing not to eat. You're there, the food is there, but you're not partaking in it. When you deprive your body of oxygen, it can lead to symptoms of hypoxia. At first you might feel dizzy or lightheaded, your vision might blur, you might feel nauseous or even lose consciousness. And while skydiving, these symptoms are not just unpleasant, they can be downright dangerous. But don't let this scare you away from the thrill of skydiving. The solution is simple. Breathe normally. Yes, it's that easy. Open your mouth, inhale, exhale, and repeat. By breathing normally, you're giving your body the oxygen it needs to function properly. So the next time you're about to take the breathless plunge, remember not to hold your breath. Let your body breathe in the excitement, the fear, the adrenaline. Let it breathe in the experience of skydiving. Remember, when skydiving, breathe normally and enjoy the plunge. And just like that, you are back on solid ground. But what happens to your body now? In the blink of an eye, the adrenaline-fueled adventure of skydiving is replaced by the mundane stability of terra firma. But your body is still reeling from the adventure, still adjusting, still returning to what we call normal. After the thrill of the skydive, the adrenaline in your body begins to decrease. This powerful hormone, often known as the fight-or-flight hormone, had your heart racing, your senses heightened and your muscles poised for action as you hurtled through the sky. As you touch down and the adrenaline subsides, you might experience a sense of calm, even fatigue, as your body switches from high alert back to its regular functioning. Your heart rate, which was elevated during the jump, begins to return to its normal rhythm. The rapid thump 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 in your chest slows down. The flush in your cheeks fades. The excitement that surged through your veins starts to dissipate, replaced by a sense of calm and relief. And then there's the sense of accomplishment. Let's not forget that. You've just flung yourself out of a plane thousands of feet above the ground and lived to tell the tale. That's no small feat. There's a sense of victory, a rush of pride that floods over you. It's a feeling that's hard to put into words, a kind of euphoria that can only be experienced firsthand. In the aftermath of the skydive, your body gradually settles back into its routine. The heightened senses, the racing heart, the adrenaline rush, they all fade away, leaving in their wake a sense of peace and satisfaction. It's a stark contrast to the chaotic, exhilarating adventure of the skydive, but it's a part of the journey, an essential piece of the skydiving puzzle. So the next time you skydive, pay attention to these changes in your body. It's not just a thrilling adventure, but also a fascinating physiological journey. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, leave your comments.
I wish you all love, happiness, kindness and a peaceful sky.